today we are doing an apartment renovation in Evergreen Harbor in the Pinecrest Apartments. This is Pinecrest 402. This is like one of my favorite apartments because it's like a real tiny. I love these apartments. I wish we had more like these with the like short walls um, and a reasonable size in uh, in city living because we only have a handful of these in Evergreen Harbor. Um, but anyway, this apartment was roughly inspired by two things. The first of which are these plastered style feature walls by Amibe. Um, Moss does awesome reshades, by the way, um, and wall textures. Her wall textures and reshades are amazing. Um, but uh, so she has these like feature walls that have like, you know, like the painted arch is very in for a moment. But we start out with this and I am going to, I don't keep this oh well, maybe I do keep this color I use it twice that's why I'm confused <laughs> but um but the second thing that inspired this was this furniture from my Shuno son who does gorgeous gorgeous it's like almost what I call like the actually it was this basket that inspired the whole thing I saw the basket in this kit um it's the Lottie bedroom kit and I immediately I had like an alpha version of this basket and the second I saw that this said had come out on her site I was like I need it I'm doing a whole build just to put this basket in um because I don't know if you've seen my boho apartment renovation I absolutely use a much more like alpha one um and it's been great we've been getting lots of like maxis match cc creators that are doing awesome things and I'm slowly deleting um some of the stuff I had just because I couldn't find it in maxis match um you can now so um, and if you check out the tour at the end of the video, you'll see that I'm trying to like tag some of the items um, in the tour. It's the first time I've ever done that in a video. So let me know what you think, if I should do it in the future, if that's helpful for you. Uh, but anyway, so basically this is kind of, I called it at first like an, it's an art student's apartment, right? So it's like a one bedroom, maybe like an insanely wealthy art student, I thought after the fact, because she has like all this like really nice furniture. Whereas like when I was a student, I had like a TV stand I bought from Walmart and a desk from Office Max. Um, and that was like it was all that was in my uh, student apartment. I guess a table. But uh, let's just assume that this is our student who has some cash behind her. <laughs> this is The Sims. We can live out our wildest dreams, right? Uh, so I make this like, man, and one of the other things I always miss when I'm not doing CC is the sheer variety of books. That we have in season i know like the base game has a lot of books but they're really annoying to work with um i did want to do like a little bookshelf moment here but i have such a limited patience with tool i think i give up on it and just stick this stick this little table here but we make like this little this like so it starts out as an art student apartment and i think just ends up being like my dream apartment if i actually had the money, energy, time, no children to furnish it. This is like one of our leftover alpha. This one isn't even really alpha, but I love that little jewelry box. I it's from I used it in the boho apartment too. I've probably used it in every build. It's such a cute jewelry box. Um, and we just clutter this up. There's a lot of art. We use a lot of Charlie Panic's pancakes, like modish paintings. He has some like uh, oh my gosh, what's his name? But um, like the mid-century style stuff, just a lot of clutter. Um, and we have the teapot from Cold Brew, uh, Fieri Sims Cold Brew, Cold Brew Coffee Shop. And I make this little like tea reading area nook. And with this big window, I love the windows in this apartment too. Um, because you have these big windows, you get to like, I don't know, it's just... This this is it's funny though. I think it would be terrible to live in an apartment with windows this big in real life. Because oh my gosh, like one, I never know, like you can't put window treatments on them easily in the Sims. I guess I could have tried harder, but there aren't really window treatments that work well for them. Um, and unless you had them when there were some sort of like one-way glass, like it just feel like there's always like I live in an apartment and I always have like an irrational fear. <laughs> like we have we have curtains and all that, but just like this is just very uh because I live also in like a very dense apartment, so it's like just apartment buildings next to apartment buildings. Like my bedroom view is just other apartment buildings. 
all the windows in my house actually more or less you can see some sky but basically face other apartment um and i would just be so afraid of people like looking in um we add in this like trig shelf which is a little like i do i'm getting more and more pure maxis match these days um but you'll see like i just sized this down because the shelf is a little alpha um but like i was saying there's so many good maxis match creators these days that don't really need the alpha stuff anymore but sometimes sometimes we still pull something out um we just make this cute like little cluttered shelf with uh candles and books it makes like this cute little uh reading moment but i was saying like it's supposed to be an art student and i you will see here in a second we put in a lot of uh art clutter but um but clearly this art student is all, also a reader, but also just because I like books. So I put a lot of books in there. Oh, and this these plants. These plants are absolute these plants are from uh Gary Sims. And man, I love 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 love. I think that one's from Winter Garden, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, are those the Bloom and Rooms plant? No, 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 no. Those are the Winter Garden plant plants. Um and like, man, those plants are my favorite. You know how much I love plants. Like half my CC is just plants, um, but those winter garden plants are. I already know that I've put them in every CC build since they came out. Um, they're just like the they're maxis match. They're not like overly detailed. Like I have some that are more alpha, but they're like the most detailed you can be while still be maxis match. Also, the, I love this little like bird thing from Bramble Finch. I love it. It's old CC. It's a little hard to track down, but it's amazing. Um, these like herbal frames too. Uh, and I just like shoved this with full chock full of art. We have art everywhere. Um, and then I decided to go for like this open closet moment. You'll see that I do end up like moving this and kind of like reworking this into like a little closet section here in a second. Um, but I know we got some of these recently with the high school kit. I actually built this before the high school kit because i have a backlog of videos for you guys um but before that we didn't really have anything and i have been trying with my custom content builds to limit how much i've been trying with my custom content builds to limit how much uh non-custom content i put in them i won't like cut it out completely i did that for like i did that for the townhouse i posted recently uh, but here we use this in the other color in the pink and it's such a like cute wall. Um, but I just, I mean, I feel like if I'm going to build in the Sims, I'm going to use the stuff I want to use, but I do try and limit it a little bit when I'm using custom content. As I know a lot of people use custom content, so they don't have to invest the insane amount of money it requires to, um, own all the content. But here's where we actually like get in our art supplies. I do think I put in the embroidery hoop, which will make sense because there's some embroidery that's going to come later to this build. I add in just some more clutter, but we also add in um, like a little, it's not quite a like easel, but like a little painting moment. Oh, and I add in, I add in this dinosaur lamp. I love this dinosaur lamp from Tiny Travelers. I just used it in the townhouse too. Just like it's just like quirky and fun and I like use it I use it all the time. I just really like that lamp. Um I also really like this base game piece of art, this like flower here. I'm another staple in my build, but uh it's from a Brazilian artist and I I really like it. It's just a, it's because the colors are so minimal, it's such a nice, like vibrant piece of art, but it goes on almost any build because the color is very muted and minimal. Um I think that's not even the, I have a CC version that's just that photo, but I love that. That's from uh, Eco Lifestyle, that stack of canvases, and then we have some more Charlie Pancakes art. Here was I saying we make our little, our little easel moment and just add in some more art so that we have this little space to do art. And I don't really know, I mean, I guess when you're an art student, you actually do most of your art on campus, right? Um, you don't tend to paint as, I mean, maybe draw. You would do some like sketches and stuff. So this is just like a 
watercolor sketch spot, you know, and then I just like add, you just pack a ton and ton of art in here. It's like an artsy department. Like I said, I just like in retrospect, I was thinking about, I was like, if you were an art student, there's no way you would like have, but it's mostly art. So I guess that is what you would uh, acquire art student. These shelves are from Pierisum. I don't remember which build. Then I just kind of make this like a vanity without the vanity. So I go in and I add, well, we're kind of like finishing out the closet here. You'll see that I add like makeup and stuff up here, which kind of was my idea. Like you have this fairly small space um, and you wouldn't really have room in this room. Like this room barely has room for a desk as it is. So that instead of having an actual vanity, you just kind of have these shelves here that serve as your like storage, but then you could like pull that chair over and sit here and do your makeup. Um, I mean, so I, we just got this bathroom clutter kit, right? And I think this is really what I wanted out of bathroom clutter, I realized. I just realized we got some makeup clutter with high school years, which is great. Um, again, this was built before that, and I try and limit that. We did get some decent makeup clutter with high school years, and we did get some, like, perfume bottles. And for sure, like, things are better on the non-CC side of things um, when it comes to, like, that kind of, like, makeup clutter. But I just wish we had gotten a little bit more like that. Like, when you think of bathroom clutter, like, the clutter in my bathroom, like, yes, we got some, like, soaps and things like that, sure. Um, but the clutter in my bathroom is definitely, like, I don't even use a lot of makeup. And most of the clutter, the most, like, object-taking up part of my bathroom is makeup. And we didn't get like that. We didn't get like a little mirror like this. Like that's what I would have actually. It's funny because I don't hate the bathroom clutter kit. Um, I don't hate it. I do think that it's like a really hard thing. Because someone was asking like, oh, should I buy it? And I think the really hard thing for me about the bathroom clutter kit is that I will use it. And thus, you should probably buy it if you want, like, to have those things and builds. I see myself using it probably even more so than the everyday clutter kit because those items were a little bit more specific. I can see myself using the bathroom clutter kit in every single build from here on out, or at least every non-CC build from here on out. Um, but it wasn't what I wanted, you know? Like, it's better than nothing, and I will use it because it's better than what we have. Um, but it wasn't what I wanted, and thus I'm, like, a little bit, I'm, like, I don't know if it was really worth, I, like, it's hard to say it's not worth $5. I think $5 is a very accessible price point. It's actually why I like kits, which is someone who doesn't do a lot of casts, who doesn't do a lot of gameplay. I'd rather pay $5 just for the build and buy stuff. Um, but I know that's, that's controversial. Kits are controversial. And that's why we have CCs, because you don't have to pay for kits. You can just download this CC, which is all linked, um... On CurseForge, it will be when this is up on CurseForge. It may be a couple days, um, because it takes a little bit for CurseForge to approve things. Um, but it'll be linked on CurseForge on my Tumblr. You can download. It. But I did like how this this living room ended up being kind of boho-y. Um, but you'll see that I started out with like that tropical wallpaper, and that goes away. And that was not the right look, and we go for a little bit more. Minimal while still being a little bit focused on art. And this is where I think definitely we like lost the student feel because maybe if you were really good on Craigslist, there's only a one bedroom apartment. I guess on a, as a student budget, a one bedroom apartment, you fix in some like IKEA furniture and like some used stuff. And maybe your, par your parents have some really nice stuff. Like maybe you just have to be a really good thrifter to get an apartment this decorated, I feel like. But even, like, art is so expensive. Like, I don't have as much art as I would like to have. But maybe it's your friend's art. Maybe that's how we, like, justify this. Their friend's art. Um, they've, like, traded art. But that's what you would invest in, right, if you're really into art. But um, I'm using here, I think a lot of this came from the show The Look Sets, which are really nice. I'm surprised how much use. There were, like, mini sets that um, Harry CC and Felix Andre did, and I'm surprised at how much use I got out of those. I will say, overall, this build is mostly Pierre. There's a big mix of, like, these are these are my, like, favorite Max Match CC creators right now. Obviously, Harry. Um, 
has been one of my favorites for a long time. Pierre Sim, amazing plants, amazing like butter, amazing everything. Um, if you check out my French townhouse, that's like almost all his domaine du close. Um, awesome. Um, Charlie Pancakes has some amazing stuff, especially I think her clutter is really good. Um, and those art prints, a lot of the art prints in here are from Charlie Pancakes. And then my Shuno son, um, who like the bedroom is very heavily influenced from those will be. But um just if you're looking for more uh Maxis match, uh these are some old things. Those embroidery frames are from the Plum Bob Tea Society. And I think I actually think I'm considering kind of like re I went through like a major CC shopping spree when I first started building with CC. Um, I have some older stuff and I really like CurseForge. I really like the way I can link everything. So if you're going in the app, I can link everything on CurseForge. And Charlie Pancakes recently just put her stuff up there and she was like the last holdout. Um, and that way, I think I'm going to kind of clear out some of my older stuff. Um, I think also like the look of the base game has changed a little bit. Uh, so I prefer, I don't know. I mean, I like the old stuff too, but I think just in an ease of like, uh, making it easier for me to link stuff, to know where things came from, to have them easily downloadable. I think this, after this, I've thought that after this bill goes live, I'm going to do like a major CC clean out to try and it's hard because there are so many amazing creators and I want to support them. Um, but just to make it easier for downloading you guys, I made this like tiny little laundry nook, which I love. I don't really know how, like, I, I guess kind of that what I'm imagining here is that this is like a closet actually closed off. And at some point they just like opened it up Like you know, how like some apartments have like laundry in the closet, but they like took out the door basically. Um, it would probably be a little smaller than this, but I kind of love how, like, it would actually be terrible, probably, because if you're, like, running a dryer and sitting in the living room watching TV, uh, I don't know that you would want to have your dryer running. Like, man, I, the first apartment I lived in, the air conditioner, like, return vent was right next to the TV, and it was so loud you had that, like, the air was running. You had to, like, have a whole second volume for the TV. Um, We'll see here. You see how you get that weird shadow on that. Um, and so generally speaking, there is a file you can download that makes CC not do that. Um, and I thought I had it downloaded. I don't know if it's these cabinets I'm using aren't set up correctly or what. I think I just delete it because it bothered me. Um, but there is generally a file. It's like a non-occluder file you can download if you're having that problem. Um, but we go through a couple of iterations of this kitchen because I couldn't quite figure out what I wanted. And then I settled for like, I love these Halcyon kitchen counters from Harry. Um, it was a little hard to like squeeze everything in here. It's like such a tiny, that's what I like about this apartment though. It's tiny, it's tiny. It's like the way an apartment should be. Everything should be squeezed in in an apartment. Um, but ah, but even as I'm like talking about cleaning up CC, I'm like, oh, but like there's these little clutter from this and I like this little, I have like emotional attachments to some of these like CC items, but um, <laughs> I just have like my favorites. Like, I really like that Peony um, in the, in the brown bottle. It's always been one of my favorite CC items, but, uh, and like these blueberries in, in the, uh little blueberries and these like pyrex dishes uh which i know are not on curse forge so maybe i'm not going to clean out my cc as well we've decided but um but i really wanted this this kitchen to be like cluttered and uh but like clean you know clean cluttered like you know like you know the clutter of like it's a small space and you have to have a bunch of stuff uh it's hard to have everything like super, you know, that minimal look. You actually have to have a ton of space or nothing are basically your options if you want to have that really minimal look. So I imagine in an apartment this small that even though it's one person, so you're not like cooking for a bunch of people that you would just end up with uh, with this more like cluttered look and this lived in look. And I just I love those blueberry muffins. It just makes it feel lived in to me on to the bathroom which this 
this bathroom is what we call um the imaginary uh this bathroom is what we would call the uh we're playing the sims and this is imaginary kind of bathroom because oh boy uh there's a giant window there and i end up not putting a shower curtain on the tub because even with cc i have one tub with a shower curtain and none of them just none of them match this style not at all so we end up throw like end up with a unshower curtain tub and you would have to either be an exhibitionist or um just assume that somehow this glass is frosted um i also have an over reliance you know we're talking about like my like cc hang-ups this brutalist bathroom sink i just want more sinks in this style in this style that where they're the slightly elevated cabinets you know what i mean um they don't have to be this like brutalist concrete texture but if we could just have more sinks in that style cc creators hear me or i guess i'm gonna have to make my own i don't i did recently i spent on my list because i actually had taught myself 3d modeling like over the pandemic i started messing around with it um and that's how i got into the sims 4 was i started doing started messing with 3d modeling to like do interiors and i was looking for inspiration I've been a simmer forever, but I did not play The Sims 4 until the pandemic. I was looking for inspiration for 3D interiors and came across someone's dollhouse build from The Sims 4. And I was like, oh my God, The Sims 4 can look like that. When The Sims 4 first came out, and you remember, it was the, the dark days where nothing was in the base game. Like we complain about it now, but it was real bad. And I just like couldn't buy it. I just didn't. And I forgot about it for six, what would that have been, six years? Yeah, it came out in 2014. I like played the the like demo. I remember being really mad about it. And then I and I was a busy time in my life. So but I saw that and then I got back into The Sims. The wonder. But so one of my like back of my mind goals has been always to like teach myself to make CC. I've tried a couple times. There's a really confusing. It's one thing to make your own things in 3D, which I have no problem doing. I can texture and things like that very minimally. But um the sims 4 just getting stuff into it because you're basically modding on top of that um is a little tricky but i had to get my first little cactus done and i'm working on a chair now so uh hopefully maybe i can make my own sinks i can make my own maxis match things for that um we do actually use the blooming rooms plants here and i just need to say those plants look nice they're nice looking plants um again that's a kit that like i didn't exactly get what i wanted out of but i'm never going to complain about more plants i will take i was saying honestly they could just keep selling me clutter and plant kits. i was saying there's no shower curtain here i love this piece of artwork by charlie charlie pancakes art is some of the best thank you for watching i hope you enjoy the tour at the end it has some of the the content creators shouted out at the end so enjoy that and I will see you later. Mm -hmm.